Today, we're at our home base at Cape High, St. Pete Clearwater International in Clearwater, Florida, and I'm going to show you how to adjust the sensitivity of your flight yoke or HOTAS flight stick in Microsoft Flight Simulator 24 without any additional software. This will apply to both the pitch and roll control of the aircraft, whether you're flying a plane, helicopter, glider, balloon, or anything they come up with in Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. This will work with any flight yoke or flight stick, but I'm using the Honeycomb Alpha Flight Yoke, a nice high quality yoke with a lot of cool features. It costs a little more than let's say a Logitech, but for a little bit more of an investment in your flight sim hobby, the difference is like night and day. I'm not even yoking guys, this thing will raise your flaps. There's a link to it in the description below if you want to check it out. If you've been using the default controller settings, you might find them a little too sensitive. I've also heard from some viewers that for them, the sensitivity is fine the way it is. This is one of those things that you'll have to determine on your own. It's a personal preference and probably varies by controller as well. Here you can see what the aileron and elevator movements look like versus the controller movement. Sliding the yoke or stick back and forth moves the elevator, which controls your pitch up and down. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning if I slide the yoke 25%, 50%, or 75% forward or back, for example, the elevator is going to move the same percentage. Rotating the yoke left or right moves the ailerons, which controls your roll or bank angle. It's also a one-to-one -one ratio. How can we adjust this? Thankfully, this is really simple. Go into the settings and click the controls tab. Select your yoke or flight stick on the left hand side. First, we need to figure out which axis are being used for the ailerons and the elevator. That's easy to do using the search by input button. Just click the button and while it says scanning there on the left, move your yoke or stick forward and back. Take note of which axis is used for the elevator. For me, it's joystick L axis Y. Next, click search by input again, and this time rotate the yoke or move your stick left and right. Take note of which axis is being used for the ailerons. For me, it's joystick L axis X. Now, at the bottom right of the screen, click hardware settings. On the left side, you'll see the two axes that we identified a minute ago. I'm happy with the aileron sensitivity for the roll control, but I'd like the elevator sensitivity for the pitch up and down to be less sensitive. That was L axis Y, so I'm going to click that one. Now, over on the right side, adjust the sensitivity plus and minus like this. I like negative 0.85, but you can try different settings to see what you like best. This will make the movement more smooth and less sensitive. The elevator will move more slowly when you move the yoke stick a little, and then move faster the more you move the yoke stick towards the extreme. This makes slight adjustments much easier. Click Escape twice to save the settings. Here we can see the end result. If I move the yoke a little bit, the elevator doesn't move much, until I get to the end of the range, and then it moves a lot more. Here in the plane, I can really feel a big difference. It feels much more realistic to me too. Hopefully that helps you out. Please like it if you like it, and check out these other great videos.